Melody is growing her hair back long how she had it. And I asked her, I said, uh, how come? You know, she loved her long hair. I mean, she had her hair long for many years. I had my hair long for seven years. She'd been through a relationship that had a break, breakup, break, a heartbreak. And she said it's kind of, she felt by cutting her hair, she said she felt like changing. She's like letting go to all that what she'd been through. And I heard a comment, somebody saying that usually people cut their hair when they go through something very depressing or something, you know, and then they, they just want to kind of let it go, let it, you know. And it seems like now she has a new chapter in her life. Uh, that's how she wrote the Queen of Hearts lyrics uh, on the album, is, you know, what she went through. It was amazing being there in Salt Lake City because we tried for both tours to get a, a venue there but somehow everybody refused because of their laws. No minors allowed in the bar. Not even if if they're performers. We do have three minors. I mean, even even in the '90s, we had uh, Royal Bliss. They had to sit in the dressing room. They couldn't even come out in the bar until they literally came on, and then they put a stop to that too. They wanted to do the show outside in the in the parking yep. lots. Venue. They set up a stage and everything because that way actually would fit more people and hey, they're not inside the bar. It didn't work out there because uh, the hotel across the street complained of noise. Hey. They had to move it in a, was that a bowling place? And even some of the kids colored their hair like melodies. There was a couple of kids that did their hair red like melodies. <laughs> wow. And in Idaho, that was amazing. Uh, even though they did the show outside, in, you know, because inside they wouldn't have the place. And when I saw that every table was occupied that was outside, it was a lot of people that first time uh, in Idaho. <laughs> And today I had a meeting with BTE, you know, a Zoom call. And this is his words. He said, all I can say that you guys completed every show with class and professionalism. Usually, you know, when we put bands on, you know, book them a tour like that big, we get calls with complaints. Hey, you know, this is what happened. And oh, you guys, the only time was when you guys canceled the, uh, the Grand Junction in Colorado, which he said one show on a big tour like that is nothing. If you don't have a bus, you gotta pay the hotel. That's what we did in 2019 and 2021. Now with the bus, we're able to, you know, park somewhere, you know, open it up and sleep. And, and so that saved a lot of money for the band. Hello, Liliak is ready to go on tour. There we go. There it is. Hey, Doug. Yeah. Um, and I'm telling you, the next album is going to be a phenomenal album. Uh, we're going to have so many hit songs on it. And, you know, while I was talking to the band, the next tour, because we're going to have so many originals, covers, we're going to minimize. Probably it's going to be two. We're going to rotate them every show because I know people is going to want to hear either Holy Dive or Rainbow in the Dark. But it's going to have a lot of original songs, new ones, because Liliac, like two days ago, we worked on one of them and oh my gosh, sounds like a hit. Actually, we worked on two of them and both of them, but one of them just stood out to me and the riff and the energy and the lyrics, everything. Lulia, they had 16 songs, right? That we wrote yeah. and, uh, they, and 10 of them, they cut them off and six of them is gonna, uh, you know, right now is ready for the album. Say, so we're gonna write another 10 and choose the other four so we can do, so basically, which I like that because they're very picky, but those songs that I'm like, man, I love those songs. And like that, look, we want to make this album the, the, the best album we ever had. 
We want every song to be a hit, not a good song, a hit song. So that blew me away. Yeah. You know, we've been writing music because see like, you know, they, there's ideas or riffs or this. And then when we go to, we get together, uh, uh, you know, the rehearsal. <laughs> Uh, for example, Sam has a riff, he plays over and over, that's Abigail starts grooving with it, Ethan on the bass and melody starts coming out with the melody, like her name is. <laughs> and, that's cool. and if he clicks and he jams, it's good, it's like, whoa, all right. You know, we record it and it's just a, a scratch, a, a, you know, record it on the phone. And then, yeah. then we go back and we visit another day and if we like it, then uh, Melody starts writing lyrics to it, and then I start recording it. And you kind of build on it from there? Yeah, build it from there, and then that's when I put my magic, you know, produce it, and you know, I, I, I figure out, okay, how do we, the intro, okay, what do we do here, what do we do? So I, we put it all together, and you know, you know, I have their inputs too, and that's how we create songs, you know, and right now we have, I told you we have 16 songs, but six of them, they are already chosen for the for the album. And actually, Manic State of Mind, they scratched it off, not to be on the album. people heard it live on the tour i know they're, they're gonna be disappointed but they don't the band wow. said that's not gonna go on it i put madness on and carousel those, those made the cut but not state of mind so it's crazy wow. what I'm saying you know I mean I know a lot of people say well side B and right now we need to focus on side A and hey. get that one done yeah. Seven Army we took it right here and now like not that we cannot cover another classic hit but a classic yeah. hit it's you can't really change too much or add to it because it's already a hit crazy train how could you make crazy train better than what it's good seven nation army needed help that song it was a <laughs> And we made it a it, it really it really did maybe what we need to do in order to do another cover is to get another baby song like that like something simple or something that is not even metal and and metalize it maybe a a hit you know maybe pop song or a blues rock song that is not and then that spin because like somebody there said he said i don't even know what genre this is this is new it's it's amazing metal, baby, or, you know, that's bad metal right there. That's Lilia coming out with that style. The way Lilia did the Separation Army, I don't think there's any bands that play like that. So that's really Lilia's signature sound. That's yeah, why right. Carousel, I told Lilia, yeah. we need an original song that we can do that style, and Carousel is the closest to the Seven Nation Army style, the, the way Lilia did it. Now hopefully they'll do it again in Woodstock, but... Oh, they, yeah. That's 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 what I'm saying. You know, some people that have patience with Luliak, look, if you know, if we do only, you know, of course, on the Queen of Hearts chain of Thrones, they pick their original songs that Luliak kind of wanted to do, because not every, you know, they tested them and they saw the crowd reaction, okay, and they they took that one out and now and they just left the ones. 
the cover songs are hit songs we know already now on this new album we're gonna have so many hit original songs because they're they matured so much writing music and performing music her favorite song is carousel right now and and not only that she loves the song she said a lot of fans would come up to them when at meet and greets or at the end of the show and they were so excited man we love that song so much and, and you know we actually recorded the the instruments already all we have to record is the vocals and that song is done and we might want to release it as a single to get everybody pumped up excited for the next album uh yeah. but i'm telling you, when i put it in the car and i hear it and the bass because it's a very bass driven uh, driven it it rocks man Once you have so many good songs that the band love performing, like the band really loves performing Carousel. And, you know, there's some new songs that we're working on that is good. The way it works today, you always have to put reels or like TikTok. If you don't put TikTok stuff, the, the followers, yeah. you see them decreasing. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, I remember... Yeah. We had five five hundred and seven thousand uh, five hundred and seven thousand TikTok followers. We didn't put stuff. It started going down. All of a sudden, it's five hundred and six thousand. And so they put uh, uh, videos like cover songs. Here I go again on my own, going down the only road I've ever known. And then boom, now it's five hundred fourteen. So because yeah. of that, sometimes Sam has to put a reel, just him playing the guitar. Abby playing the drums, Melody covering a, a, a small clip, like a little one, just to keep that going. And people that think, it, oh, another cover. Look, that's just a snippet. Uh, and, you know, if you listen to Sam's guitar, yeah. it's so clean on that uh, Rocky Like a Hurricane. <laughs> You know, it's you could so see amazing. the and the quality of his playing. Because a lot of people can play guitar, but to have that sound is just a few.